Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here and today I'm showing you part 3 of my Clicker Simulator tutorial series. So in this part I'm going to show you how to make a rebirth system. It's pretty simple. So basically to start off with, click the first link in the, in the description down below to get the model. Make sure you've done part 1 and part 2 otherwise this won't work. So you'll go to my models and then you'll see here simulate tutorial part 3 if you click on that oh, put it in. and then this folder should be in your workspace so you want to open this and these two the button and the frame put them into your GUI and you should see this button pop up then put this rebirth remote event into your remotes folder don't rename anything make sure you know it's called remotes um, etc and basically once you've done that we need me oh god we need to make some changes to our scripts so everything will work properly so first we're going to go to the leader stats and i'm just going to duplicate this or well, copy this paste it the lead stats so we can back out of here and we need to go into the click manager now that we're in this script we're gonna add a new variable we're gonna do a rebirth event and then remote dot rebirth so this is the remote event in the remote folder and then we're gonna copy this And then just ignore this for now because we're going to have to change this up. So what we're going to do is actually get rid of this. And we're just going to make it a bit simpler. So we're just going to do player dot leader stats dot clicks dot value dot clicks dot value equals to or plus equals to one so that's pretty much it it's a bit simpler and then get rid of all this make this a rebirth event instead of click event and what we're going to do we're going to do player dot leader stats dot clicks dot value equals to zero so you know when you rebirth you want all your clicks to go away so it would be zero and then get rid of that and then what we're going to do is going to do player dot lead stats dot rebirth dot value plus equals one so add a rebirth per rebirth obviously and then do player leader start oh wait no yeah no don't need leader start player dot clicks add dot value plus equals to one and yeah that is pretty much it for this script so we can click out of here like that and then hopefully as long as I've not messed anything up, it should all work. So I, should, I mean, see, it's saved from last video. My clicks go into here. It says clicks needed for rebirth 100. Confirm, but we don't have 100 yet. As you can see, it doesn't work. But if we click, keep clicking. <laughs> there we go. Then if you confirm. Got one rebirth, zero clicks. And hold on. <laughs> I figured out the problem. Um, I missed one out, so you're gonna go back into Clicks Manager and go player dot least get rid of this one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do player dot clicks add dot value. Clicks add. There we go. I've missed something. Oh, I have missed something. Oh, <laughs> player dot 
clicks. Is it clicks needed? Clicks needed. Dot value plus equals 100. So this will be how much is added on per rebirth. See, sometimes one line messes everything up, but it should work now. So again, it's bugs because broke the script. So let me just reset this. I swear it does work. It's just data stores are a bit weird. So just click to 100. Get tired of this. There we go. We need 100. There we go. 200 clicks now. So, oh, really have to click to 200. There we go. Confirm. 300. And we get three clicks per rebirth. And we can open and close this as well. So, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below and subscribe for part four of this series. And let me know what you want me to actually do next in the simulator series because I've got the basics down, you know, clicking and rebirths. So if you want me to make a shop or, you know, upgrades, then yeah, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.